Good morning everybody, or I'm not sure what time I'll be posting this video, but I am recording it in the morning hours. It is August 17th, and this is August 9th and August 16th finds. Uh, what I'm about to show you now is August 9th, uh, last Friday. Uh, got the new Hot Wheels Test Facility 5-pack from Target with the new Bone Shaker. If you remember before, the last one was this. They've uh, changed up the bone shaker a little bit. They also got some pretty cool other cars. There's the Bedlam. And there's the Camaro. There's the something. And there's the something. But anyways, very cool looking Camaro. It's a clear blue body. I may open these up and show them at the end of the video. Maybe. Uh... <clears throat> I am still without any new jammers, so uh, sorry for the uh, weird voice this morning. Uh, got up and figured, well, nah, I better do some videos before the kids wake up. SpongeBob Hot Wheels. These are some new ones that I also found. This is not on the 9th. Uh, I found them in between the 9th and the 16th. I'm not sure which day. What's the Mr. Krabs car? And I got the uh, Patrick car. I've already got the Squidward, um, SpongeBob, and Plankton. I tried to find them in my closet, but I've got stuff in boxes right now because I haven't been able to, to open cars because the the lack of uh, jammers. But also on the ninth. <clears throat> Right on the very front pegs at Target, the very top right peg, I found this bad boy. It is the Super Camaro. The card was in great shape, but I've been carrying it around in my backpack, showing it to different people at work. And uh, I'm actually going to do a separate video on this. There's the TH Super Treasure Hunt. And, uh, I'll be doing an opening video. This is the only one I have, but I'm still going to open it up. This one does not have the Hot Wheels logo underneath. So, pretty cool. Uh, it is a uh, non painted engine variation, so it's not does not have the painted engine. Anyways, that's that. The 16th. On the 16th, I find these. This is number one of 30, 63 Chrysler Turbine, Spectra Frost. These are very cool colors on these cars. Anyways, they are metal based, metal body. I believed at first that they were going to be real rider cars because I was looking at the rims online, but I have discovered that they are not real riders. What they are, are retro slots, as far as the wheels are concerned. They all have the same slotted mag wheels on them. But they are plastic tires, which kind of let me down. But, I am still thankful to Mattel for making these. These are still sweet cars. Again, I will not be opening any of these until I get jammers. And then they will all be cracked open. This is number two. Of course, this is my favorite because uh, I'm a huge Blast Lane uh, fanatic. Uh, Blast Lane motorcycle is my favorite motorcycle that Mattel has ever made, you know, for me. And uh, when they made a trike out of it, I was even more happy. So this thing is beautiful. Anyways, what's funny, I'd seen some people over the years when the Blast Lane first came out in 2000. Yeah, 2000, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, because 2001, they made it a treasure hunt. Uh, when it first came out, man, I was buying a lot of them. But people started making customs out of them fairly fast after it originally came out. <clears throat> and they were doing the trike. And then that's pretty cool that Mattel actually came out with it later. This is number three. 63 Plymouth Belvedere. Anyways, pretty cool. Yeah, these are really cool paint jobs on them. Once you get them, 
camera's not doing them justice, but there's that one. I'm going to finish it up real quick. Number four, which is, I love, the 40 Ford Coupe in purple. This thing's sweet. It's got flames on the hood, and it also has some uh, pinstriping going on in the back trunk there. There we go. You can see it better there. Beautiful car. Love the purple. And number five, which is the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Kind of a gasser car with the jacked up front end. Beautiful blue also. Five. And last but not least, well, close to least. I'm not a real fan of this car. Turbo Mustang. I bought two of these from my, one for me and my son. Anyways, I, uh, there it is. So it's an older casting. It's very sweet. Let's see if it does have the year on here. First release in 1978. Nine. I'm trying to look through it through the viewfinder. I guess I could just look at it with my own eyes. Uh, anyways, there it is. Originally released in 1979, it looks like. And then uh, re-released in 2012. So anyways, yep, there it is. Pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I uh, have another video coming up, and it will pertain to one of these right there. That's all you're getting, so stay tuned. Bye.